Hi, my name is uh, Dave Rossi. I'm an IBM cybersecurity uh, architect for the uh, Z Systems brand. And today I'd like to show you a quick video on how to configure alert, uh, a product called Z Secure Alert, to monitor for uh, things on the mainframe and send it to QRadar. So, first thing we're going to do is we are going to log into the mainframe. And we are going to uh, log into uh, the panels for uh, Z Secure. And uh, so th this is the base level panels for Z Secure. And uh, Z Secure is a suite of products. And in the main set of panels, you can see the different uh, uh, products of Z Secure that are installed. We've got admin, audit, visual, and, uh, and alert. And today we're going to be working with alert for Rack F. So uh, what Alert does is it really monitors, uh, you know, for systems of events, uh, system events on the mainframe, and then it can take an action. So what you really need to do is configure it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to SE for setup, and uh, then what we're going to do is we are going to configure the alert. So we're going to go to A, and you know when you're configuring alerts. You can configure the actual alerts, which is what we're going to do, or you can configure the, uh, you know, the list of uh, email addresses that you'd like to be incorporated into the alerts, or you can actually set the PCI uh, sensitive uh, data sets that you have on your system, and you can identify which user IDs and groups have access to them. In addition, you can configure other sensitive resources. Uh, define those and then define what users and groups have access. In our case, we're just going to be going to alert. And, uh, you know, so this is the, uh, the base uh, alert, uh, you know, configuration panel. And uh, C2D DFL is the uh, configuration template that we recommend you copy and change. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this template. And uh, you have to name your uh, name the copy of the uh, the alert configuration file that we're going to create. In my case, I'm going to call it Q demo. Then uh, there's just a few required fields for the SMTP. Uh, you have to specify the class, and then you have to specify the writer. In our case, our writer is SMTP. Okay, so next. Um, in, in the configuration, these are the global actions if an alert is triggered. So with alert, you can either email someone, uh, you can text message someone, you can uh, write to SNMP, uh, you can write to a syslog, or you can write to operator. In our case, we are going to write to syslog. And uh, this next option, write message to the local syslog, that's really used for debugging. So you, you never want to really do that in a uh, alert you're configuring for production use. It's only used for debugging. So what we're going to do right now is this IP is the address of my QRadar server. And I'm going to be sending it to part, port 514, which is the default uh, event port in QRadar. So now that we've configured the uh, uh, the global variables to send the alert to my curator box. We're going to exit out of there. And next, we're being we're dropped into a panel that shows us all the out of the box alerts that we have for Rack App. And in this case, we are going to actually select the user type of alerts. And uh, here's a list of the different user alerts. And this is the one we're going to actually configure. Um, what you're going to do is we're going to configure. Hey, which uh, IDs are considered the emergency user IDs, and if that ID is logged on, I want to know about it. So this is an alert with an ID of uh, 1102. So remember that, we'll cover that later. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, and these are the emergency user IDs. So there's already some user IDs defined, and I'm going to define myself as one uh, just to, to, to test this out. So what we've done is we've selected that, we've defined it, and now you can see that this alert is enabled, 
And uh, because the global option, if it gets triggered, it's going to write to uh, syslog, which is what you means. So now we're going to exit out of here. And uh, this is really the alert generation panel. So what we've done is we've actually configured the alert. Now we're going to go forth and we're actually going to uh, you know, generate the various files needed to deploy this alert. And uh, you can see that uh, you know, we've generated all the appropriate code with the re re uh, return code of zero, which is good. Uh, next, it's going to ask you if you want to refresh your started task. And since we haven't started the started task yet, I'm not going to refresh it yet. So if you look here now, this is the uh, configuration that we just created. And it says that, yes, we've done these things to, you know, we set the configuration and we've created all these files, but we haven't refreshed it yet. Before I refresh it, we're gonna go over to uh, the, uh, and, and start the started task. So I'm exiting out of here now. I'm going to go start the uh, started task by going to uh, SDSF and I'm going to go to DA. Right now, uh, the started task is called C2 Police. It is not started, so we're going to start it. And we are going to start it with a PPARM of QDEMO P which is uh, what we just configured. So right now we're starting this up, we're, we're starting the task up, and uh, if we look at it and we do a find on QDemo, we're gonna see that, yes, we have specified that PARM. So what this means, it's gonna look for all those uh, uh, files that we generated before, and it's gonna load it up in the configuration. So they're gonna be accessible to the started task. Okay, so now let's go back to the, uh, uh, we're gonna go back to, uh, Q, uh, to Z Secure right now. And we are gonna go back into the setup. And you're gonna see that right now it's still not refreshed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a refresh on this. And now you can see that we are refreshed and now we can see that that configuration is active. So now we're gonna go to the Curator. I'm gonna log on to the Curator. This is my Curator console. And we are gonna look under Log Activity. Okay, so, so right now I have nothing coming in, but it's good to start that console and I'm gonna exit out of here. Um, one more, and log, log off. And now that I'm logged off, I'm going to log back on with my ID. And because I've defined it as the emergency, you know, emergency ID, we, we should see an alert for it. So I'm going to do, uh, so I've just logged on. Okay, so what I've, what I've just done is I've logged on, so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna see here is the alert that we just configured. Okay, so I logged on and uh, now we can see that the alert has uh, registered. I'm gonna pause this right here so we can dig in and drill into this within Curator. And what you're gonna see is if I look at the raw payload, this is the 1102 uh, that I configured. So this was just a simple demo of how you can configure an alert uh, uh, within ZSecure to send a, uh, an event to QRadar. Thank you.